When you communicate in healthier ways, it can be a more vulnerable way of communicating because you're actually putting out there what you really think and feel, rather than saying one thing but meaning something else. Many couples tell me they want a deeper level of emotional intimacy in their relationship, but what they don't realise is that this means taking greater emotional risks. Have you heard of intimacy as into me see? And that's what it is. It's about revealing ourselves to someone else in a meaningful way. In John Powell's book, Why Am I Afraid to Tell You Who I Am? He talks about the ways we reveal ourselves to others. At the most basic level is cliches and chit chat, like what a gorgeous day it was today. And believe it or not, some couples build their relationship on nothing more than that which leaves the intimacy in the relationship at a very shallow kind of level. Other couples keep it to facts. So they might say things like, it flooded in Venice today. Yes, I saw that on the news. At the third level, the couples might share opinions about those facts. It would be crazy to live in Venice considering how often they have floods. I don't know, I guess you'd be used to water everywhere living in a place like that. So there is a deeper level of intimacy here because there's a bigger risk that your opinions could be rejected. At the fourth level, we're really getting to a deeper level of intimacy. And this is where we share our feelings. So you're beginning to let others know who you really are. For example, I feel loved when you call me during the day to see how I am. Or it hurts me when I don't hear from you all day. So the feelings can be pleasant or unpleasant. And then the final level of intimacy is sharing who you really are. You might talk about your weaknesses, your hopes, your dreams, even your fears. For example, you might say, I don't like myself that much at the moment. I feel useless. Or the most important thing to me is being a good husband and I'm worried I won't be good enough. These final two levels, sharing feelings and sharing who you really are, have a much greater risk of rejection because you're putting out there to your partner what is really going on inside, warts and all, and letting them know what you really care about. Yet at the same time, there's a greater likelihood of intimacy because you're giving him or her the opportunity to know you at a deeper level. And when you share who you are at a deeper level, you increase the likelihood that your partner will also share at a deeper level. Again, look, there's no guarantee, so you have to measure the emotional risk and decide whether it's worth it. And then have ways of looking after yourself if you end up feeling hurt or too vulnerable. If you want to deepen the level of communication in your relationship, you might need to work out what has stopped you from being more emotionally intimate in the past. For example, is there unresolved conflict in your relationship? Are you time poor perhaps? Is there too much criticism, making it emotionally risky to share more openly? Whatever the reason, you will need to address it in order to move the relationship to a deeper level of sharing. When you are ready, you will also need to make the time. It doesn't have to be complex or too serious. Again, for parents with young children, you might sit at the dining table once the kids have gone to bed and chat for an hour once a week, say. You might go bowling and then have a drink afterwards, talking and sharing. Or you could go for a walk along the beach together, chatting as you go. Just like with relationship conversations, to deepen the emotional intimacy in your marriage, you need to make time, prioritise and open up to each other. So we've covered a lot of ground so far and I'd like to recap on what we've discussed. So we've looked at the different ways people give and receive love and how to keep your partner's love tank full. We've talked about relationship conversations and how to use I statements. We've also learnt about active listening and how to have greater intimacy in your relationship. So that's a fair bit of information and practical skills to help improve your relationship. And we've still got more to go.